set number two in this final match. True double elimination. Justin Bergman won Hill Hill the first set. Boy, that was some shootout, Freddie. I Those guys played what. great. And Mike again has won the leg, and it'll be on his break to start. The only ball he missed in that set was uh, in that last game. Tough shot that he had, a tough, a tough little out. He had those two balls on the side rail near the pocket. He had to get a good angle the first one and then come back for it again, and he didn't get the first one in. Thought he had made it. You know, Justin might have made his best his best out of the whole set. That was a great that out. Might, yeah, that, that was last not, rack. That was not an open uh, open rack. Fought his just fought and fought to get to that two ball, which was the problem all along. And he got it finally. Well, we're seeing a great finale to this year's BCA Pool League Championships. This is definitely the last set we're going to play in the Pro Arena this year, 2016. I want to thank all you out there that have been watching all week with us. And uh, we invite you back next year for more great pool. At the Q Sports International BCAPL National Championship. Mike DeShane to break. It's race to seven for the title and the cash. Balls are in. Five ball, 11 ball. You know, I, you know, I was sitting on the sidelines watching, and I'll tell you, Freddie, I realized that, that the American players really are dominant on these small tables. Sure. Well, Americans, including the Canadians, play on these bar uh, smaller tables much more. Well, you don't see them anywhere else in the world. Right. We do see the uh, UK-style eight-ball table. But I don't know how much they play there. It's a different game. Yeah, it's definitely it's a different, different game. game definitely with snooker game. size balls and small pockets. I was just talking to Mike Massey, and we were discussing this very thing, and he said that it's a different game. Yeah. He said on a nine-foot table, you're rolling the cue ball all around the table, and everything's wide open. He said here, he said, you can play in close position all the time. Meanwhile, Mike has played a perfect shot in the first ball to get on the two ball. Both of those balls were the tough balls, and now it's pretty wide open. These guys both played nearly perfect in that first set. One mistake each. I mean, uh, Justin scratched on one break, and Mike missed one ball. Yeah, and the other mistakes that uh, Mike made was failing to make a ball twice after he, after he uh, broke Justin's serve. Justin had scratched on the break, and Mike uh, ran out the rack but didn't make a ball in the break, and then Justin didn't make a ball in the break. Mike ran out the rack and didn't make a ball in the break on his ensuing break. He's got the best break going that we've seen so far, but for some reason, the two two of those racks came out bad. This one here, two balls went in, wide open rack, one nothing, unless barring any uh, crazy mishap here. Well, I don't mind seeing these guys play another set. They both play so good. Well, they they played the best, and two slightly contrasting styles. Yeah, they were they deserve in the finals. They they're the two best players here. In this event, one nothing, Mike DeShane. This is a real shootout between these two guys. Yeah, I'd give Justin the slight edge in negotiating tough racks, and definitely the the uh, edge goes to Mike DeShane on the break and wide open racks. Was there any safeties in that first set? No. <laughs> there were only uh, dry breaks, a scratch on the break, and then that one missed ball by Mike DeShane. So if you count up the errors, that's two dry breaks and one missed ball by Mike DeShane, one scratch on the break and one dry break by Justin Bergman. That was the difference. Three errors versus two. Bergman one by one on the hill. Justin has an interesting way of racking the balls. He racks them up, and then he takes them all takes down them all and down. respots the one ball. <laughs> <laughs> Justin breaking pretty well. Not nearly as hard as Mike, but I don't think you need to break them nearly as hard as Mike. Lips right on top of his cue stick. Looks like he's kissing the cue. He Ooh. hit him a little harder than he normally does. Cue Look ball out. is lost Look in out. the drink. Another early advantage. Mike 
Deshane trying to take advantage. It's a nice looking open rack too. Here's a couple balls tied up, but nothing. They can't be broken up. Well, from the high, from the low ball side, the two one, the two and the one are kind of tied up. You might even actually play a combination twelve one to start off with. These balls down table look like they're good. Yeah, if he does that, all the low balls are open. Well, now he's. If you take the high balls, he has to break out the twelve ball and the fifteen ball. Mike is looking up there at the twelve one. I agree with you. That would be a really good opening shot because every small ball, all the small balls, would be wide open then. Interesting shot here. If he plays the five ball up table, that's telling me that he doesn't think the five ball goes anywhere. It looked like the five ball came down here in the bottom corner, bottom right corner as we view it right now from the top. Playing the six. See how he solves this. They're both going in. They're both going to go in. Might have to reevaluate there. Came up kind of funny because now making the seven ball, he doesn't break the 14 out, which is blocking the eight ball, I believe. It may not be. If it's not blocking the eight ball, then he goes right for the four ball. He doesn't want to tap that eight, I don't think. No. He might want to tap the 10. And he, he really doesn't want to break those up, but he may have to. See if he'd, like to go through the, he'd like to go really through that tight between that the 14 ball. and the 10. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, he opened them up. He did open them up. He needs to get up there and get a shot. Does the two one is that a combination that's uh, on? No, it I don't think so. It. I don't think so. I no. think the twelve's got him blocked. He doesn't look like he's got anything right now. No. He's got to come with a shot here. He can back cut the three. Into the side. Or the three twelve one combination, but the twelve's got to back cut the one. If he makes this, probably gonna run out. That's what he's looking at. A three ball combination. The good news is he doesn't, it's not really a back cut. The, the first cut is already to the right side of the 12. I think he makes this ball. Well, it's not perfectly no, lined up with the pocket. He's got to hit the 12 just right. Yeah, it looks like he just has to hit the ball. If he hits that 12 on the right side, he's got to cut it a little bit. Right. To the bottom of the one ball. If he doesn't, he's going to jar that pocket. If he doesn't, he's going to lose the game. If he shoots this, he's going to open up the only ball that's a trouble ball for Justin. He's calling for it. Yep. And that's oh what happened. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He had the first open look off a scratch on the break. Now he's probably kicking himself. Why didn't he play that 12-1 combination? The two balls down table mustn't have gone very well. He played a very um, odd first shot shooting the five ball up table. Can Justin Berkman take advantage? I would say yes, because oh. he's, he's done it every other he's time. He's done it every other time. He just doesn't seem to get in a position that that he's going to miss a ball. Will Mike DeShane be the bridesmaid once again? Well, we've got a long set in front of us. A long short set. We're just at the beginning. One nothing, Mike Deshane. I never heard it that way. It's long <laughs> it's short a long set. Short <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean, though. <laughs> we got a lot of play ahead. All right. Normally, a race to seven eight ball is not that short a set, but the way these guys play, they make it look short. Yeah. When you don't miss balls, even when the rack is sort of tied up. Mike had ball in hand on a on an eight ball rack, you really expect him to be favored to run out and just didn't get there. Free stroking there. Yeah, it looks like he was trying to come back and for get the 15. That yeah, is that the 15, 15 up on the end yeah. rail there? Yeah. yeah. You know how I'm doing this, Jay. Not that I'm succeeding, but every time I look at that 15, I say, is it green enough to be the 14? <laughs> and then I say, no. You can't say, is it teal enough? Because I don't even know what that means. It's it's kind of the closest color to the cloth color. <laughs> Except for 
other than the blue, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't I'm, know. A, I'm a little colorblind, I think. You'll notice this two ball is awfully dark compared to the ten ball that's sitting on the t on the table right now. Yeah. It's almost like this. Yeah, they're not the a same. match, are they? No. What a shot here! He actually had, has an opportunity to shoot the fourteen if he had to. Of course, he'd still have the nine ball, but <laughs> it was an awfully nice position yeah. there. Now he'd probably pl take it. <coughs> I would think so. Slide one rail between the fifteen and nine. Uh, not the fifteen, the eleven and nine. I'm surprised he's taking this now. Well, because the ten stop ball. for the fifteen, or excuse 11. me, the eleven. Is that the eleven? Wow. What in the well, you know, he sees those he's natural <laughs> angles a lot. <laughs> just wild. He's got his own way of doing things. That's for sure. Works pretty good for Justin Bergman. Mike Deshane's pretty upset over there. By uh, had a golden opportunity to. Start this second set with a break of serve, but didn't get out. Justin's flying through it. One to one, Justin Bergman holds his serve after scratching on the break. I think we'll have another hill hill set. Probably. We Probably. Could. We could. Boy, we've seen some great pool the last 10 days, I'll tell I'll you. I'll tell you, we have. We have indeed. Is this real pool, Jay? Sure is. <laughs> you, Are better you, huh? you better believe it. You better believe it. You bet it is. I mean, look at who's left in this strong field. <laughs> Two right. great players. The, the cream rises to the top every time. I think the biggest surprise of the week was uh, Rory Hem Hendrickson having this wonderful tournament, making it to the finals against Shane Van Boning, his yeah. his Padawan, as I called him. And now Mike returns the favor and scratches, and let's see if Justin has any problems. Doesn't look it. Mike breaks bigger. It's wide Mike open. Mike seems to be a little deflated about that first set because wow. he thought he had it. He, it was on his stick. It was on his stick. Low balls coming up. Both balls are good. If he, if he shoots a 12 ball, it's it's uh, wide open. If he shoots this three ball, it's wide open. The two balls got me a little bit on tilt now, Jay, because now I realize it's darker than the 10 ball. What's going on with that? <laughs> Better I ask Andy and Cyclops. <laughs> Stop shot. Why would he want to bump that ball? It seems like he likes doing that. Nudging balls. Uh, like he using them for position. Yeah, yeah. He, he actually uses those balls. He's going to use that one. Use it as a place where he can put his bridge over the top. The one ball goes past the seven ball, so no issues there. Let's roll this forward. Justin Bergman shared with me before this match, he said he's going to put a real charge on and try to make the Moscone Cup team. He's in about eighth place now, but he's going to play all the big tournaments the rest of the year and try to get on that team. These guys could be teammates. Sure. Have they been before? That camp question came no, up. No, no. They wow. weren't. Mike DeShane was not on the team last year. But Justin, hasn't he been on twice? Mm, I think. I'm not we'll sure. We'll find out. I'm not sure. I think it was his first year with him and Skyler. Justin makes easy work out of this. Well, I'm just about to shoot this ball. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. They have been teammates. Thank yeah, you. I thought. Our Vincent, our director. Uh, our producer. Producer director. <laughs> He's the one. That also I always give the credit directing. to the cameraman, but yeah, Vincent's uh, the one that's <laughs> switching cameras. That's right. We've got four cameras on this shoot. Justin Bergman is up two to one and he's breaking he can stretch out the lead Mike Shane over there checking his uh, phone I think 
I think we need to have a rule on that in the future. Well, they shouldn't be using their cell phones during the match, that's for sure. Why would he want to be on a cell phone? I don't know. Maybe checking out what's happening on Facebook. See Maybe what he's, people looking are for saying. Some, he's looking for some words of encouragement. Mm. Maybe that's it. Here we go. You know, when the 15 ball four pyramid rack is on a seven foot table, it looks like there's more balls. Yeah, it's, a, it's crowding up a lot of the table. I don't hear anything dropping. I don't think anything will drop. Nice open mm -hmm. rack. Very nice open rack. Let's see if Mike can take advantage. The 14 ball, that's oh, the 15 ball, <laughs> down by the 6 ball, which is the lime green ball, blocks the solid, the 6 ball and the 3 ball. And for the stripes, the 10 ball and the 12 ball, the blue stripe and the purple stripe ball are kind of tied up. Mike is going to shoot the high balls and probably nudge these balls. No more problem. He has a shot. <coughs> Jacked up. Here comes the bridge. Got to be careful here. We haven't seen much of the bridge this week. No, this is going to be the second time Mike's used it to bridge over a ball from this particular. There's the Predator Bridge, a really nice look at it. Really nice looking bridge as far as bridges go. Maybe you can break the balls with it, too. Probably put a tip right on there and, <laughs> and call it the Revo. Oh, they already did that. Tricky shot here, just because he's using the bridge. You know, you have to guard against pulling the bridge up and hitting a hitting a ball. He's going to go ahead and swing at this. That's a good shot. Well done. Well done. Pretty wide open here. The nine goes into the corner pocket past the three ball. 14 will go in the side or the corner pocket after the nine ball's gone. Mike's just got to steady, steady himself here. I know he's a little bit upset over the first set. And then scratching on the break from the last break. Well, he, he's run into a hot shoot in Justin Bergman. Yeah, it's not like... It's Justin not like Bergman's not giving up anything. No. He says, you want this one? You're going to have to win to it, buddy. Really take it away. I don't think he's going to go ahead and play for, uh, well, a little bit of stretch. Taking a long time here. Yeah, this is like the longest he's taken on, on a shot. It's almost like he got a little distracted by something. I maybe think so. Maybe on the cell phone reading texts and stuff like that. You got to keep your mind on the game. Uh, well, I, I'm not sure I agree with this, but you know he's got to shoot. Now he's decided to stay away from the, the the troubled balls down here. Well, the 14 goes in the corner, so not so bad. Or the side. Or the side. He's got to get good on this 10 if he wants to play the 14 on the side. rails to it. He's got to hurry up. He's good. Floating down for the 14 on the side. No, no float. You hit it firm. This one he's just going to punch in and Slide up and shoot the eight in the same pocket. Nice job. Nice job holding, the riding the ship. And gets it back even. These guys are really evenly matched. Yeah. I got a feeling that if they played ten sets, it could go 5-5. Five, five. I think so. Who do you think is favored on the bigger table? I know we're saying that staring at the Fargo rates. I think they're evenly matched. Evenly matched? I really do. Now, there are certain games that they specialize in that uh, one might have an advantage. Justin in, in one pocket, certainly. 
and probably Mike DeShane and Straight Pool would have an advantage. Right. But we're playing eight ball now. These are two players that are equally well versed on small or large tables. Right. Here comes Mike's break. He scratched last time. It's it's funny that he would be struggling with his break when it was so good in the in the uh, hot seat match. He's got so much power. Wow, he crushed those balls. He said, "I'm going to get even with you." Oh Ooh. my! And the cue ball got oh surrounded. My. He might be able to see, shoot the six in the corner. That's uh, that's if a horrific roll there if he can't get anything. He's uh, smiling right now. He might be able to shoot the six. Let's see what he's looking at here. Now he's looking the other way. Is there a carom on? I don't think about so. I think it's a little bit too far out to I carom. Think, that I think so ball. also. If he can get it there without it sliding or, or rolling, he'll be able to hit it. But he's going to have to hit it pretty firm from right here. No sliding. I mean, all sliding. You think that ball will carry him back to that pocket? It almost has to go in reverse. If I look at the table, it looks no good. If I look on the overhead, it looks okay. Now he's looking to see if he can spin. He'd have to spin this ball a little bit. Oh, safety. Uh, Bill was right there. Looks good. Bill's got to come back out there. This one's in a tougher spot. So we're going to see a little balk line play. A here. little balk line, except for they don't get a point. No. They're not getting a, getting a point. They're, not, they're, they're playing the rail nurse. Uh, the opposite side, the ball's got to be on the other side. Justin takes a look to see if that two ball will go, but the three's got that pocket blocked. And two, three combination. He may have to try the same shot. Our referee, Bill Stock, is close by the table watching this action. There he is. There There's he is. Bill. He worked for Q Sports International for 12 years, just retired. He was the one that trained all the referees right. for many years. Bill's a good player in his own right. Wow. This was a really good safety. Sometimes the best shots in pool, the cue ball only travels an inch. <laughs> that that barely moved a millimeter. He's, trying, a to, he's trying to cut this so ball. He's called the six ball. He's firing. Boy, Justin, can you cut this ball in? I don't know about that. It's like wow. almost like he's billiarding off the two into it. What the heck? Wow. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe he made that ball. <laughs> Neither can Mike. Mike's, Mike just has a stunned look on his face. How can he shoot that ball? Mike's thinking to himself, maybe I should have shot it. Mike is probably saying, I've just played so many lockup safeties on people on this stream table, and they've come up with some of the greatest shots in the world. I'm still in shock that he actually made that ball. He had to kind of cut it and throw it at the same time. But, you know, Mike could have shot the same shot. He could see as much of that ball as Justin did. But I think he thought that safety would do the job. And I would have thought so, too. <laughs> he's going to shoot that. Well, I think he's going to shoot that two up in the end. I mean, he's on it right now. Yeah, of course he's going to shoot Of course he is. He just met and he's making sure the angle is... He has been. He fools me sometimes with that walking around and Some, pointing. Sometimes. It's like all the time. It looks like he's actually going to shoot the ball, but he's still got three or four more dance steps. You notice how cleanly he pockets everything. Yeah, he's a it's good like ball striker. Everything goes right in the middle of the pocket. Has he missed a ball? Not in these two sets. I think so. Uh, yeah, I think the only thing he's done is scratch. Scratch on the break. <laughs> Mike wants to take another break. There's a little disagreement here between uh, Mike DeShane and Mike. the referee. I think Mike's saying he, he thinks, thinks he double he hit that thinks ball. thinks he fouled. But he's shooting away. I can't see how he did. Now, Mike. It's a little won. late to be complaining. I mean, this is Mike, the game's over. Down. Yeah. Now, 
Oh, he's saying it's over and done with. He's talking now. Mike's just got to sit. What's he? What's he saying? They're mm. talking about that shot. Yeah, he's saying he'll show it after. But let's. Uh, now he's going to work in Justin's head because Justin actually answered him, and Justin didn't need to. Well, I'll tell you what. That's going to affect Mike than more than it is Justin. Yeah, you kind of figure that uh, Justin is more like a shark. That he smells blood, and right yeah. now M yeah. Mike is slightly bleeding. Mike has has got a paper cut on him, and yeah. Justin's smelling it. I mean, it. Mike was talking to him, and Justin appeared to be disinterested <laughs> in having the conversation. And it doesn't help Mike to get worked up. No, you got to keep your emotions in check out there. I think Mike feels this match slipping away, but it's still only three to two. I don't hear anything dropping. Mike DeShane has another opportunity to come up and work some magic. He cannot, Bill is going to not get this magic rack. Let's see if Mike can ride his ship right now. This is a tough run out though. Balls are tied up. Mike should not be touching that rack. But he did, and shows Bill that's not even on the rack. So Bill will mark the nine and then yank that ball out. You notice There's Justin sits Jamie there Bruce. very placidly, observing what's going on. Yeah. <coughs> Balls are really tied up here. See the six ball is buried in the 13. The 14 might go past the nine ball. 14's on the spot. Mike's decided to play solids. Tough first shot, tough second shot. Six ball is still top of the wall. He wants to shoot the five and break that six right now. He's going the wrong way, isn't he? Oh, yeah. And he Ooh. got there. Oof. Almost missed it. Very nicely done. And he didn't open up the six. The not, six is still really. hit. It goes to a pocket, but unfortunately it goes down table. It's still somewhat hidden by the 12 ball. you got to get behind it to make it. He may roll forward right now to for the three ball on the side and then go for it. The four ball is still tied up. So he had two solids that were problems. Four ball and a six ball. Six ball is almost open. Four ball is not. Well, now he can open the four. He's asking for a little bit of a roll. And I think he got one. Shoot the four, and he'll be on the high side of the six. He's still got to really control his cue ball yeah, that's to right. execute this shot. Cut down the rail was what he missed before in the last set. Well, didn't do him much good there. I don't think the six will go on the side. I don't and it won't that. bank either. The eight's blocking it. Well, maybe he can cut it back to his right. Cut it <laughs> past that <laughs> ten ball. But you really got to turn the cue ball loose if you do that. He's in trouble right He's here. He's definitely in trouble. Not gonna be happy he knows it, too. He knows it. That ball won't bank, Jay? No, the eight's got it blocked. He can't bank it. He's looking. It's close, but I don't like it. It's It will bank into the bottom half of the pocket. Right, right. And it's spin bank. Look, now he's going to shoot the three ball. Oh boy. And hope. Oh because boy. he's coming off a lot of balls. Oh boy. Wow, look at this. What a shot. shot. He deserves a roll here. Unbelievable. He deserves a roll. Unbelievable. He almost got he on almost it. He almost got on it. Does that bank? Mm -mm. No, no, no. The eight's right in the middle of the pocket on this one. Yeah, the other one had a better shot at banking. He's, he's banking, banking back, back, the other way. back the other way. Mike's starting to shoot some shots that are like desperation. Yeah, that was a desperation bank for sure. Oh boy. He's this could get ugly, Freddie. Yeah, he's uh, one more, one more bad roll from sweeping the table. Well, he 
you know what it means when you got one ball and your opponent's got seven. You are behind it. You're and behind. You are behind. A lot of a lot of people, especially people who are new to eight ball, think that you're ahead. But when you're against a good shooter or even a medium shooter, you're so far behind. If you've left the table, one ball left. Justin still looks like he's all business. You know, I think that experience of all those money matches he's played, he can kind of feel that his opponent's showing a little bit of weakness right now. Right. Like I said, it's, he's like the shark. He's smelling blood. Mike is starting to open up a wound. See how he finishes up his rack. He's not making any mistakes, no. is he? No. Once again, as I said yesterday, this guy's a good closer. He knows how to finish a match. Looks like he's going to open up the lead to four to two. Mike DeShane will be breaking to try to close the gap. Mike's sitting in his chair. He didn't realize it's his break. Well, he was still thinking. You see, he's, he's a little distracted right, right now. Now, if he thought that Justin Bergman was supposed to be breaking, that may have lightened up his mood. this wreck yeah like you said uh, earlier Jay it's starting to get away from him he's needs this he needs this rack easy break and run to get him back in the game you both know he's physically probably, and mentally you know he's probably finished second seven or eight times in the last year and a half that I remember and it's beginning to eat at him oh sure now for most of us second place in a tournament is great <laughs> you're making money but he wants to win sure He's got a decent opening shot here. He's going to have to play a combination on a hanging ball, five ball, I believe. But he could play the ten ball. It looks like stripes are the right balls. Yep, he's going to play the ten ball. Don't chunk it. Good shot. These look like they're sitting they're pretty good. They're absolutely wide open, and that's exactly what he needed. Maybe this rack will get him out of the funk he's in. Right. Stop shot on the 11. 14 is right there. I mean, Justin has been playing. But why would he shoot this ball? I guess mine is not to answer why. Yeah, you would because think those, those would be the last two. Right, because the two up table are a little tricky, and he fell perfectly on the 11. And he'll fall perfectly on the 11 again. <laughs> I think he could just stop the cue ball right there. I think so. I was saying, Justin's been playing perfectly. I don't believe he's missed a single ball in either set. He has had a dry break and a scratch on the break the first set. Dry breaks on this set. Still one. Mike has an easy out here. And he's down four to three when he makes his eight ball. Justin Brigman to break. Don't give up, Mike. It's okay. not over, it's buddy. It's not over. But Justin just has to play his pretty well, make a ball in the break. Keep it on his serve all the way out. 
said this in the last game about Mike in this set. It's all on Justin's. Really, it's on his stick. He can't lose if he breaks and runs all of his set, uh, all of his racks from here on out. Pretty tall order playing eight ball. I tell you. But this, but I'll tell you what. If you add up all the games they played so far, it's been mostly break and runs. Probably get the stats tomorrow on this on these two matches. Keep the cue ball on the table. And make a ball on the break. That's what he wants to do. Eight ball has gone down. One ball's gone down. High balls look pretty wide open. Justin Bergman favored to run out from here. Yeah, this is a nice layout here. Yeah, a little combination. Draw back one inch. I would think. <laughs> Justin reads the racks really well. Yeah, I think um, he's probably over all of the players. He spent more time and the right amount of time reading the rack before firing away. He might be the second best in this country at this particular game after Shane Van Boone. Oh, sure. Interesting that he'd take away that that ball in the corner, knowing full well he still has to play this combination. Maybe he just doesn't want to play the combination. I guess he doesn't have to. He will now. I'm not sure. Does it tw Can he shoot that 12? I guess he can. He can. Like he he's can. got enough to shoot. Yeah, he wants the combination out of the way so the 12 is open. And then the 8 ball is open for that pocket. Right. So 12 ball must be his last ball. It looks that way. He doesn't want to follow this. He's I guess he's trying to figure out whether or not he wants to follow this all in or make sure that uh, he can play a position for it. I'm thinking he should go ahead and shoot this 14 so that he can cut the 9 ball in instead of playing a combination or cut the combination in so it doesn't have that forward roll on it. A little change of strategy here, this rack. Yeah. I don't know if he's going to like that any better. I don't think he wants to <laughs> shoot the 12 now because the 3 could cause him the problems. Go back and shoot the 11. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure what angle he, he he's looking for to, to shoot this 13 or 9. There aren't too many angles left. I think he's had it on three different angles. He's going to have to shoot it next, <laughs> wherever it falls. That's not much different of an angle, is it? I think he's going to hit this one fairly firm and go f and follow back to the center of the table. No, nope, I'm wrong again. He doesn't want to make them both. No, definitely not. And he was hoping, and he didn't make them both. He's got a good angle here to get on that 12 now. Right to the center of the table. Yeah, roll don't forward don't and cross shoot the, the line. Yeah, shoot the 8 in the same pocket that the 13's hanging in now. Tough speed control here. Oh, he does this really well. Beautiful. He's got a great feel for the table. Just perfect. For a two-game lead. Mike DeShane to break, down two. Absolutely needs to break and run or else Justin will come back to the table with an opportunity to close him out. Justin Brigman's looking stronger and stronger and stronger.
looking at two of the best players in North America right here. Both candidates for the Moscone Cup yeah. team this year. And among the favorites in any tournament they play. Cue look balls out, of the look drink. out. Ooh, that's disaster. That's disaster for that Mike. That is disaster. And once again, it's a big break. Lots of low balls in. The 11 and 9 makes stripes a little bit difficult. So I expect that Justin will make a low ball. Probably the 7. There it is. Boy, this is a nice spread on these low balls. Yeah. We can see the whole pattern here. The four ball in the corner leading to the one ball. Yeah, this rack might go fast. It will. It will. There's not much thinking here. Justin decides to think, though. Well, he's just being careful. <laughs> yeah. He can feel himself winning right now. Exactly. One on the side, roll forward for the six, which you're staring down right there. Sometimes, Freddie, you got to take an extra second or two just to be sure. And that's true. I like that he looks to the other side. you got to see which angle is right and which angle is wrong. There's the line. Above it is no good, and below it is perfect. But you got to fade the 14, so there's just put it right on the line. And if he happened to be high in it, he can just draw to the side. And it looks like that's what he's going to do. That's why he looked at the line. Draw to the right of the five ball as we view it. Or stun, I suppose. And Maybe draw back and shoot in the side. He shoots these sh in the side a lot. Yeah, he just shook his head a little bit because he didn't quite, he didn't get an angle. Well. He can go forward, shoot it up table, stop it, shoot in the side. Yeah, he's it looks like he's got a little bit of an angle. He's going past it, just like this. Perfect. Almost perfect. He's going to be on the hill and breaking. Even that one he stopped and took another sure. look at. He's on the hill. He's on the hill and breaking. Mike can only sit and watch after that scratch on the break. Justin Bergman has just been playing so good. And of course that break was huge, so Justin was already making good work of the tougher acts. Stepped up at the table with a pretty easy rack. The only match Justin lost in this tournament was to Mike DeShane in the hot seat match. Well, he steamed rolled him in the hot seat match. That was a nice shot there of the Steve Lomax cue. He's not going to break with it. He's going to go get his break cue. Mike may not be coming back to the table. Well, he's hoping. Look for a good break right here. Yeah. Cue ball on the table, ball down. That's what Justin's looking for. Right in the center of the table. Nothing's going to kick it. Balls are down. How's that Shot break? on the one. How's that break? Shot on the five. Shot on the 12. So that he's cue got ball his choice. Jumped. That cue ball jumped Perfect. back and stopped, and nothing touched it. I think the four will even pass the 13 down. Yeah, well, the he's going to take a look right here. <laughs> looks like the solids. So the, the 14 doesn't pass the five ball, so it looks like. That's why you wouldn't hit the solids. The four ball does go past uh, the 13. Once he can get on the four ball and shoot it up table, he will have solved this puzzle of this last rack for him. Will he try to get to the four right, right now? I think so. Why not? Because if he doesn't get there, just shoot, shoot something else like the six ball or the three ball. It's a little tricky, though. He's got to slide down there where that 15 and 14 ball right. are. But if he goes for it now, it's free to go to because he's got uh, both the six ball and the five ball and the three balls. So that's three balls that go into a pocket if he goes too long. Two ball probably goes too. It's close. 
It's kind of tight position. Hmm, I am stunned that he's shooting the five ball, but maybe he gets the four ball very easily with this little cut to the shot go over there, pass the ball, and maybe it's after the six. Amazing. There's a method to his madness. I know, because he's pl playing the seven next. Does he think that four ball is so easy that he's not attacking it? That just seems so strange. But, of course, he's been playing so well, and his position play is so excellent that if he gets on the two and stops it, he's probably perfect for the four ball as well. It looks like it's not that easy to get position mm -hmm. on the four, but show us how you do it, Justin. We want to see. I'm curious myself. The top angle here the from the overhead looks like this two ball passes the 10. I'm not sure it does. He may go forward. He's using right hand. Look how much right hand spin he's hitting that with. And now the four ball? Now the four ball? Gotta be. <laughs> Gotta be. He's still looking down here. This is not the easiest cut shot. Look at this. He's going to take the three. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, he doesn't care what the four ball is doing. He's going to get the four ball next. You can see this is a great angle. A stop shot here or a stun shot will lead him right to the floor. He's trying to get perfect on it. And, and, the, th and the eight ball will go in the side pocket or the corner pocket. He got a little better angle. Yeah. He, do he went through all that just to get the best possible angle. Now if he makes it, the one is easy. And he's made it. Match. He hit it perfectly. He hit it perfectly. I suspect eight ball in the side pocket. You suspect right. This is for the match and the championship. And Mike is uh, conceding. <laughs> Justin Bergman really shot well. Justin Bergman has won the eight ball challenge here at the 2016 CSI BCAPL National Championship. We're going to take it down to Jay Helfert for the award ceremony with the two champions, Justin Bergman, the champion, and the runner-up, Mike DeShane. Well, you guys, you had a great match. It was a great shootout. It's a shame somebody had to win and somebody had to lose. Mike, that's second place, two in a row. Mm, yeah, tough action. Well, Justin's tough action. Yeah, totally. How would you like to have him on a teammate for the Moscone Cup? Yeah, it'd be great. Okay. Listen, congratulations. You played great all week, buddy. Justin, hey, you closed it out pretty nicely there. Thanks. Finally won a tournament. Feels good. And it's just... Uh, he got unlucky, you know, breaking dry. It's, it's all luck on the bar table. So, Well, you guys both played really well in that match. Now, are you going to make a charge for the Moscone Cup the next couple months? I'm going to try, yeah. Good. We'd like to see you on the team. Listen, let me bring Amy Kane in here to give the trophies out. Congratulations, Mike. Very good tournament. Congratulations, Justin, 2016 eight ball champion challenge. You're welcome. Thank you, Amy. Mm -hmm. So that wraps it up for this year's BCA Pool League Championships. On behalf of Q Sports International, this is Jay Halford saying good night.